Do you want to analyze terabytes of data without breaking the bank? And you could use your existing computer in order to perform such analysis. And so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. And so without further ado, we're starting right now. So the library that we're talking about today is called Vax. And so the idea of this video was suggested by Geeky ABD, and it was suggested in Twitter. And so he tagged me along with several other data science YouTuber like Kenji, Abhishek, Daniel Bark, Python engineer. And so shout out to Geeky ABD for suggesting this awesome library. And so today I'm going to be showing you the Vax library in action. And so let's get started. So first thing that you want to do is open up the Jupyter Notebook. Okay, and so the Vax library, if you don't already have it, you could install it by typing in pip install Vax. Okay, and so the Vax library could be installed by using the pip install upgrade Vax, or you could also do it from Conda. And I already have installed the library, and so let's import the library. Import Vax as VX. So here we're going to be directly opening up the big data set directly from Amazon's S3. And so large file such as this one, it, which is about 12 gigabyte in size, could be stored on the Amazon S3. And so this is available directly from the Vax library's own storage. And so we're going to be loading in the Taxi New York City dataset. And it is stored in HDF5 format. And so let's time it. And so it takes about 21 milliseconds. You could run this a couple of times. Okay, so it's roughly 20 millisecond. And let's run it again to... Okay, there you go. Okay, so it was an error from a prior run. And so here, we have already loaded up the data set directly from S3 and then we assign it to the taxi one variable. And then we're calling it in order to have a look at it. And so it works pretty much now like a pandas data frame. And so now you can see the underlying columns. And you can see here that there are 146 million rows in the data frame. And running the taxi one dot shape, you're going to see the precise number of rows and the number of columns. And let's have a look at the other version, which has data from 2009 until 2015. And this data is over 1.1 billion rows, and it has over 107 gigabytes of data. Let's see how long does that take to open up. So roughly the same amount of time, 20 millisecond. Okay, so it's not even a second. It's less than a second, 20 millisecond, 10 to the minus six second, okay? And so let's assign it to the taxi2 variable. And now this is the underlying content of the data frame. And you can see here, 1.173 billion rows. Okay, so that's a lot of rows. And you can see that it takes only 20 milliseconds to open up the data and assign it to the taxi2 variable. Let's have a look at the shape. So 1.1 billion, 18 columns. This is from prior calculation. Let me cut it out. Okay, so actually the other cells is in another file. I think I put it on the deep note. Let me open it up. Okay, so it's in here. All right, it's right here. So let me copy this and I'll put it here. So let me add a cell. Let 
let's call it visualizing the NYC dataset, taxi dataset. Okay, and so this allows us to visualize the taxi one data, which has over 146 million rows of data. And we're going to visualize the taxi two. And then let me change that to taxi two. Run it. And so you see that it has more data and you're going to be seeing the immediate changes between the two plots is that this one appears a little bit brighter than this one because of the 10 times more data. And we're gonna see that the general patterns is pretty much the same. So this region is brighter than the other region because there's more pickups data in here and also in this region as well. Let me know in the comments down below whether VAX could speed up your data science projects and if so, how? So I would like to read all of your comments and if you're finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet done so, hit on the notification bell in order to be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science and please enjoy the journey.